Hi, and welcome back to Finders Beepers History Seekers. Quite a long way down south for us today as well, aren't we? Too far from Monday night. Definitely too far from Monday night. So it's pretty much midnight already and we're only just getting here, aren't we? So it's I'm just starting. I know, exactly. So it's be a swifty one tonight. Well, I don't think it will because we're in a big massive sort of whole mansion y type. Yeah, it's it's a big house anyway, it's very, very, very big. And it needed to be because it housed a big Greek man, didn't it? Yeah. Who liked to... S Not Dennis Roussos either. Ooh! Who the hell is Dennis Roussos? Google it. I don't know who that is. Yeah, maybe Stavros Flatley, but that's... Or EasyJet guy. S Stavros Vikokolos. Yeah. Yeah. Mr Papadopoulos. Yeah, him. Him. Yeah, there's a lot of <coughs> Stavrosses in Greece, isn't there? Yes. But anyway, he wasn't called Stavros. No. He was called Thanos. And I don't mean the guy with the things on his hands that, that is in avengers -y thing or whatever. So anyway, he had a bit of a, a gambling thing. And then one day, he just disappeared. So he'd been living in this house, in a house in London. And he just never came back. Up and left. Yeah. And the locals were baffled by it. But then six years later, they started to see him and his family knocking about around the village just randomly. So there's a really weird story to this. Because when people started first coming in it, it was full of Gucci, it was full of Versace and like really expensive furniture and things like that. Mm. And obviously, probably most of that's gone. But we're going to have a look around and see what else we can see in here. I'm hoping to find... Something. something good something <laughs> to add to that story though do yeah, you know what i mean I think we'll find something here yeah not just like a cupboard full of onions and cabbages and things like that just good stuff like good interesting no but you know what i mean like rotting food or just boring stuff it's got to be good hasn't it what's up with you anyway on that bombshell let's go have a look <laughs> Right, so we're starting off in what... Would you say this is maybe a... I don't know what room this is because there's loads and loads of books about like the world and evolution and biology and things. But then there's a big thing of Oromorph. That's... Isn't that like... It's morphine. Yeah. Isn't that... Liquid morphine. Yeah, but you're not, you can't just get that from chemists, can you? That's a controlled drug. Really? Yeah. Is it... Is it just an empty box? Have a look. Because look, there's loads more stuff down here That's as well. Shit, That's what? That's herbal shit. Oh yeah. What's glucophage? I'm Glucophage. guessing that's something to sh sugar. Yeah. But, what's all weird? Is it full? It was heavy. <gasps> no. <sighs> A big, full bottle of Oromorph. I knew that, that there was something with that. You can't, you can't just pick that up anywhere. No, that's, that's a, literally a controlled drug. It's got to be prescribed from hospitals. What, the size that's of that? Massive in, can I heard a cow with that? That's bad that that's just sat in here as well. My missus just got some, but it's only a little bottle. Yeah. No, when she had it up. Oh yeah. And I had it in the car for a while, but she said, take it out because I've smacked it. See it, that window through, they'll have it away. Oh, God. I'm surprised that's still here. I'm surprised that's still here with everything else that's that's disappeared. But yeah, there's uh, CDs and floppy disks yeah. and stuff. Oh, it's oh, National Geographic. Geographic, yeah. And then Mad Max stuff as well. Is it Mad? Not Mad it, Max. Ma just. Was it? Ice, is it? Oh, do you remember that? Yeah. No, I mean that elephant, that mammoth thing, baby mammoth. Oh, no. I feel like it might be in Sheffield, that. I'm not sure, though. Yeah, it was Mad Magazine, weren't it, that, that you've just chucked off for? Yeah. But it's only a piece of cardboard. It's not actually a thing. What's all these bits? Oh, I thought it were bits of jewellery, but it's not. It's drawing pins. Right. There's not... Oh... I always wonder, like, little tapes like that, and also floppy disks and stuff, I think, what's on them? What could it be that is recorded on there? That's it, that's for the dictaphone, isn't it? Yeah, but could it, like, help solve the mystery of why he just disappeared? Yeah. That's what I want to know. You always make so much noise with your feet, you. What's that? 
Oh, look, this is the the guy, David Lloyd. Jim. Oh, Jim, Jim membership. membership. Mr. Alexis Tac Mintis. But that's not, that's one of the sons. That's not him. That's one of his sons. Yeah. So he's called, what does he say he's called? Thanos. I think he was known as Thanos. But it's a, yeah. It's a different version of that. Yeah, but short version, easier version to pronounce. I think his oldest son is Paul. I seem to remember reading that his oldest son is Paul. I swear I keep hearing a noise in there, you know, like a banging about. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, let's look through into the next room. What you found? Oh, penalty notice. Now, one thing I've noticed while I've been looking around, because I have seen a couple of letters. None of them are for here. None of the letters are for here. They're for somewhere in central London. Penalty charge notice. When's it from? What did it say? Your thumbs over the date. Do what? 2013. Oh, yeah. How much is it for? Also doesn't say... Oh, Black Oxall. It doesn't say how much it's for there, does it? Oh, it'll say on there somewhere, won't it? It'll just be a, a 30 quid fine or something. Yeah. But... Is it a parking fine? I don't know. I was just trying to... Oh, location, Market Street. Um, yeah, I think it'll just be parked where you're not supposed yeah. to park or something like that, or going through on a bus lane or, or something. But I just, I don't know, everything like that I'm interested in because I think it's just going to help us piece together why this guy legged it. I don't think he's legged it because of a £30 parking charge. <laughs> don't, don't get me wrong. No. But I feel there's something else to it. Anyway, go. Let's have a look. Have you seen this? Right, for a start, the, the idiots have been in, look. Spray painting everything. But I'm guessing there were a gecko or something in there. It's not, is it, oh, is it a fish tank? It's got a water thing at the top, I think, hasn't it? It could be. It looks very dry for a fish tank. Don't usually work without water, does yeah, it? Yeah, they're going to wait one next, one next month, aren't they? What do you mean? Dry January. Oh, you're an idiot. Look at this, that's good. Quite like that. I feel like that might have got a bit of age to it. Most of the things I've seen here look very 1980s, tat. 90s tat, yeah. But look at the state of it in here. And this place is so big and grand from the outside. Oh look, there's a cellar. Shall we have a look down the cellar? Yeah, it's a good idea. I'm confused there, right? This is the floor level. That's literally outside there. That's the floor level. There's a window there. That's below the level of the floor. How does that work? Unless it originally worked outside below. Oh, maybe. Oh, God, don't start them off with the mud flood. <laughs> we get all the mud flood people telling us that that's what that was for. But that, the level of the floor is there, isn't it? It's like somewhere around there. That's yeah, definitely, right yeah. So what does that lead to? What was behind there? Let's go down anyway. It's probably gonna be a lot of tat in here, if I'm being honest. Looking at the stuff I can see from here. Yeah, look, that's like a door. I think that's yeah, a bit- I think we're excavated down outside. What, so there were steps, you mean? Or do you mean that there's a tunnel? No, the original garden was here. Unless there was steps no, because, to go down. No, because if it were like that, that door would just be out to the middle of the air. The one upstairs. Unless there's steps coming, out, coming down from that. Maybe, I'll have know. a look when we're back outside, but... Wait, wait up. Just a minute. You might be right, Andy. The steps up here, although it goes to nothing, it goes to look what looks like a trap door. But saying that, there wouldn't be steps up, would there? Steps down. You're an idiot. No, but I mean, if it went out onto that level. Yeah, that's not inside. What? That's going to come up into a room. Are you going to climb through and have a look? Go and climb through. I can't move at the moment, just let me stop it and let you get past me. 
You're going to be all right getting through there. It looks like it goes That's to outside. outside. That's what I said, it looks like it goes to outside. Well, this must be an extension here. Or, or like an outer bit. How do you know it's outside? You can see it. I can see air coming through. You can see air? How can you see air coming through? The cobweb moving. Well, they do that anyway. Go on, get your snow up. Oh, look. The Bum Appreciation Society's back. Look at his little combat legs. Ooh. Is it cobwebby in there? Yeah. Not too bad. Go on. Get your head up. I don't know. Ooh, be careful. Don't let it collapse on your head. Where does it go? So weird. What's wrong? Why aren't you speaking? And hey, you cabbage. What is going on? A donkey. Why are you saying shush? What do you mean it's concrete? How can it be concrete? The concrete's yeah. That's really weird. I'm gonna try and work out where it, where that could come out. Just going back. You're gonna be all right getting back out. Do you think? I come through this one. I don't know. You came through this one here. Yeah. Right. I'll leave you there. I'm just gonna go back upstairs and try and work out where that could come out. Not quite as easy this way. <laughs> Look at Steve. Uh, uh, what you stuck? What's stuck? I can't be my foot. <laughs> Do you need an hand? No. <laughs> he says no. Are you alright? Are you okay? Oh, don't let stuff fall on your head. Right. Oh, not moving. Let me work this out. You okay? You just farted? Yeah. Right. So. Oh God, I'm falling. That wall, and then to the left. So if I go up here, it should be this wall to the left. Oh, it is outside, I think. This is the room we were in a minute ago. I thought that would turn on then. Yeah, it must be outside there. Or underneath here. I'm gonna have to have a look outside in a bit now. That's really weird. My working's out, it's, it's out of that window. Yeah, it's under there somewhere. It's weird that it's though. Like a slope like that. Yeah. On the outside, there's like concrete blocks on top. We'll have to go and look outside before we leave. Yeah. But that was weird. The weirdest bit with your face coming back out of that hole. I'll try not to either damage my car keys. Oh yeah. Or damage my phone. Yeah. I'll try to get out. Right. Uh, go further down that way. That's the way we were going before we went down the cellar. Trust you. Padded. It's a bikini, that's why. It's not. That's not a normal bra, it's a bikini. It's a bra. It's not a bloody bra, it's a, a bikini. It's a padded bra. So the one that is not a bloody normal bra, it's a bikini. 100%. Either way, it's padded. Well. So, no boobs. You again, know what? I don't really care. You know this place, right? Yeah. Look at the devastation, look at all the stuff on the floor, all the bits and things, right? Yeah. But have you noticed something? None of the glass is smashed. There's glass and pottery and all sorts everywhere. Oh, that's been sprayed on. They've been sprayed, but none of them have been smashed. Why would you spray them and not smash them? 
You'd think like if it were kids getting in here, they would just smash stuff up. And it's not like it's proper graffiti either, is it? Like they're just gone. Yeah, and that's it. Which is a bit weird, don't you think? Yeah. Look at that big mirror behind there and that marble. That's good. But yeah, I just I think it's really odd that they've just left everything in place and not smashed it to bits. Would you just fall up that step? I'm oh, you idiot. I didn't even look at your face. <laughs> can't see, can't see. You look like a blind man. Look like um, the blind guy from Peters and Lee. Oh, I have no Peters. idea. Peters and Lee. No, I have heard of Peters and Lee, although yeah. I thought that were a woman. So. Yeah, yeah, both, man and a woman. No man to blind. They were, they were both, <laughs> they were man and woman. Can't differentiate. <laughs> Can't assume gender. No. But yeah, there's some good little bits in here and this bottom bit, I quite like the bits at the bottom down there. Anyway, let's keep going. So looking at this place originally, I thought it was like 60s, 70s build or something like that. But now I've looked closer, I actually do think it's got age. Because some of these stones, like in the fireplace, and the one you've just tripped over down there, look like they've got some decent yeah. age to them, don't they? I don't know how old, though. I'm not sure. Because I thought it was like 70s, 80s when we walked Yeah, up. but I'm not sure. Look at the parquet flooring as well. I've not noticed That's that. That's a shame. Probably yeah, a yeah they're good. It's not like cheap, cheap versions of it, is it? Yeah, it's... from Mike's Carpets. <laughs> Do you remember Mike's? Oh, obviously, you remember yeah. Mike's carpets. Probably. Otherwise, you wouldn't have said it. But it's such a shame because look, things are just slowly deteriorating. Well, not slowly, they've deteriorated quite quick by the looks of things. Little downstairs toilets. At this, I don't know what this little bit is. Oh, there's some stairs up there. Oh, and look, security. That'd be a security thing, won't it, as well? Yeah. See who's at the door. But yeah, these little rooms are weird. Oh God, look at the floor in here. Where does that go down to? <gasps> Jesus Christ, don't stand on that, Andy. Well, you can set cell a bit, can't you? No, it doesn't. It, don't, it only goes down very slightly. Can I come out of this yeah. cupboard? Cold, no, I mean, it? it is really cold in here, to be fair. What are you looking at now? Vaccination card for a dog or oh, a cat or whatever. Cupid. Well, apparently, this guy was really scared about um, security. He used to have men on the gate and he used to have uh, Rottweilers. So I don't know if that's for a Rottweiler or just some other sort of dog. Yeah, okay, it's got a dress on that as well. Right, it's got this address on. Yeah. Well, that's the first time we've seen this address on any of the letters knocking about. Oh, what's happening in here? What's all that? Oh, clean that up. Clean that up, that crossy thing. Look at where that's been. That's a funny colour, isn't it? What is it? It's like iron oxide or something, that. Yeah, look. That's Greek... Um, Orthodox. Orthodox church, I'm sure it is. Don't shine your bloody torch on it. Oh, look, right. oh, look. This is a bit bright, isn't it? It's, yeah, this is why... I, right, week in, week out, I say, don't shine no, your torch don't. on it. Yes, Not I do. do. Apart from it's further away... But yeah, how weird is that? I think it's really weird as well that it's left, it's been in that exact spot all this time. Let me put that back. Oh yeah, that's been moved as well. What are all these things on here? Rat shit. No, I don't think it is, it's seeds. Something's been eaten on there. Oh. Noodles. It is noodles. It's fat like noodles. Fat worms. Oh, this is a kitchen. Oh, it's a it's a pretty standard 1990s kitchen, this, isn't it? Yeah. Nothing particularly exciting about it. Oh, that's bizarre. What would that be used for? Well, look at this, this weird seafoody thing. Why well, you just put one oyster on top of it, <laughs> and that's it? Yeah. Seems a bit weird, doesn't it? It's a weird. Dusty in your eye. It is dusty, to be fair. It's really dusty in here. But yeah, it's all pretty standard stuff. Nothing exciting. I just want to find... There's got to be some clues in here 
to this mystery. There's got to be something knocking about that's going to tell us why he upped and left. Yeah. Do you reckon there's somebody buried in in the garden or something? Yeah, I'm not digging them up if that's what you're thinking. Oh, would you like to though? Would you like to solve a murder mystery or something like that? What are they? Peppercorns, are they? Oh, they might be. Yeah, they are peppercorns. Yeah. <coughs> I'd like to come across a body. I would, and not because of anything horrible. I don't know about you. No. Necrophilia left, right and centre if you do. But but to be fair, I'd like to just to solve something. You know, when I went up for a walk on Saturday, when I yeah. took to the old Southside farmhouse, yeah. I was just thinking, I wonder if there's a body up here now. Because not very really many people do go up there now. What, what, so nobody goes up there, so there's a body up there? Yeah, so it's a good place to hide one. Well, yeah, it would be a good place to hide one. But, I don't know. I, I don't know, I would like to find something. I'd like to come into one of these places and find something and solve a, a unsolved murder. You're not going to solve a murder, are you? Well, you are. You're gonna, you could potentially find something that would have stuff on it. I don't mean like I'm going to go, oh, there's a body there, let's do a DNA test. I mean, like the autopsy. Yeah, exactly. I just mean we could help to eventually solve the murder. Oh, look, it's you having sex again. Not that. <sighs> I thought of dog shit, man. Dog shit? Why are you even looking? Oh, that, that. What, what is that? That's, That's just some plastic. Oh, what are you doing, you? You in that girl bag? Oh, no, just knock stuff off all the time. <laughs> It's like literally like having a hump. <laughs> you have a hunchback of, of the beepers. Oh dear. Ah, oh, seems a bit cramped to have a fridge that big in here. Big American. Oh, well, they would have got it through there. In sideways, weren't they? Yeah, inside. But yeah, it's very cramped. Oh, you've seen this? What is it for? Making soup? Oh, is it meat? Mince. Mince? Oh yeah, it could be like a mincer. Like a grinder. I mincer. thought it was like a, a soup thing. That's it, worm in it though, that's on it thing. Worm? You normally have a worm. A worm? Does that? Oh, oh I couldn't, I won't look at your hand. What are you doing with your finger? Just yeah, that's why I thought it could be for like cabbage soup or something weird. What's weird with cabbages? What do you mean? I wonder if you can find any cabbages or carrots. Well, end. this is where they would have kept them. In mm. this room. Yeah, that's it. I've solved the mystery. Oh, no, that doesn't solve the mystery, really, does it? What? But, yeah. That is either for mince. It's mincing. Mince. <laughs> you do a bit of mincing. Or it's for your uh, weekend cabbage soup. Right, keep going. Hey, up. Oh, what's What's happening there? Well, somebody's bad idea. <laughs> because they've, they've either put a light in afterwards. Yeah. Or they put... I don't know, they put the light in wrong or the door's in wrong. How would they get the fridge in? Because you can't shut that door because the light's there. And then you can't open the fridge. What the f What fell on you then? Bit of ceiling. Yeah. Then you can't open the fridge because the door's there, and the door's there because the light's there, so you can't shut anything. <laughs> it's completely useless. <laughs> oh, Lord. It's designed for me, this lot. Rude health. Yeah. I'd show you some rude health. <laughs> you tramp. I would. Proper tramp. Come on. What's in here? Oh, no, we've just been in there. Have we got to the end? Is this the end of this little bit? Oh no, there is a room in here, look. This is a weird little room. Oh God. This is so cold. Oh, there's a, there's an hole here, that's why. What an odd little place this is. This just don't fit with the rest of the house. Do you think? Big fire, although it is a gas fire, that. But Are you sure? Yeah, look at the bottom. If you plug it in. <laughs> Stop making fun of me because the last week when I said there's got to be a gas file there's a plug next to it. I don't even know if it is. No, it's there at the bottom. It's, gas it's definitely gas, 100%. And then some keys there. But yeah, this this is a bit odd. It doesn't look right, does it? It's a bit out of place, isn't it? And it's on a stage. Oh, God, in fact, look at this. Look at these. That little 
pedestal things. Does I've just thought about that. What are they made of? <laughs> Not made out of stone, I'm guessing, by how easy you just pick that up. Um pedestal. Yeah. Is peddy as in feet? No, peda. Is it pedestal? Pedestal. Ah, so it's for paedophiles. Yeah, to put on a plinth so you can say, look at me. Look at me, I'm a paedophile. Paedophile. My name is Jimmy. <laughs> My name is Rolf. The Greeks My were... My name is Dave. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. The Greeks were um, into the what, little boys. Children? No, they were. Were they? Yeah, it was like a status symbol to have a little boy. As you like, sex toy. You... Sex toy boy, boy toy. Oh, so the more children that you bombed, you got higher up the pedestal. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. So that's it, you were put on a pedestal because you were a paedophile. <laughs> that's just a lot of shit. Just talking absolute shite again, yeah. as usual. As normal. <laughs> right. Let's sunny gone, I wonder. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's a stupid place on the telly. You can only sit there and see it. <laughs> you can't sit down there, can you? No, that's true. That Are these, I've seen these big moths. Oh, butterflies, I'm not sure which they are. They're very... Uh, Mothy. Weird looking. They're a bit woody. Some more up there, though. Toy Story. No! Anyway, get out of there. Yeah, I'd have definitely had my telly there. Shut up, you wouldn't have your telly there. Why? Not on that fireplace. Rip it out, rip it out, it's shite. It wouldn't fit anyway. It needs to be bigger telly than that for this room. You know, you no, you wouldn't. Not on that bloody fireplace. Stop thinking about putting it on that fireplace. No, you wouldn't. Just go. You would ruin the fireplace with the telly. What are you trying to do? Kill me with a light? Yeah. Go on. Oh, looking in here, look. Even more pottery that's not been smashed up. Or some of it has, but not very much of it has. Look, they just sat on... Things all spray painted up again. Don't you think that's weird? Like yeah. I said, like looking on the walls, look, this fuck off Yassif. <laughs> but maybe Yassif wanted to smash things up. Yeah. And nobody else did. So they were like, fuck off Yassif. Yeah. Don't we just want to spray it? Yeah, just spray it. Don't smash it. Uh, What's this? Just a minute before you do. What are these? What, what is? Is these? They're not salt. Oh, they are. Little salt or pepper pots. Pepper pots. That's weird. What are you saying? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, all the one going on the floor. Oh yeah, is it Monopoly money? Loads and loads of Monopoly money. Where's the fireplace gone? I pinched it. Someone has pinched that, haven't they? See the spray and everything. We can't glass us still in there. Yeah. This is what I'm saying, it just doesn't... It's like people are scared to smash them. Say that, we're really, really close to the house next door, so if you start smashing stuff up in Yeah, but here. it's a 95-year-old woman that lives next door. I'm reckoning her hearing is worse than yours. But, I know it's your eyesight that's not very good. Oh, lots. lot. It's knackered. <laughs> what were on there? Table. It's a big... Is it, is it marble, that? Yeah, is it bollocks? I think it is. No, it isn't. <laughs> no, it certainly isn't. No, they're not on Hercules. <laughs> oh, but yeah, that's crazy how many unsmashed glasses there are. Still here. I, I don't get it. And we are, when it comes to abandoned buildings, we are fine diners. But this place... It's just abnormal. There's something not quite right with it. That's well, a, that's a weird shovel, but... It's like a leaf. A leaf isn't it? Yeah, but it's like a shovel leaf. Yeah. I don't know. Keep going through here. Oh, look at that. Not that. What's that? Yeah, Turn it around. Cheap shite. I can't, I can't read what it says. You're moving it. Cologne Hermes. Yeah. Maybe not. Um, have you seen that telescope? That is huge. That's not. I don't know how much. Cheap, I don't know how much they cost, but I wouldn't have thought it'd be cheap. Yeah, more plates and stuff as well. Yeah, they're all they 
rubbish. Proper rubbish plates, but that... Yeah, it's got a leg missing. It's a few hundred quid at least though, isn't it? Yeah, but you can replace the, the base to it. Although I reckon it's absolutely fucked. Yeah. It won't work anymore because it's been smashed up. But look, all spray painted again, but not smashed. I don't get it. I really don't. Oh, oh I thought we got someone else. I thought they were going on about Yusuf or whoever he is again. Yusuf. Yeah. Yasif. Oh, Yasif. Ooh. Oh, look, another missing fireplace as well. Oh, that's smashed up. So somebody's had to go at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's one of the only things I've seen that have been smashed, though. Weird. Oh, I'd not seen that it went round this cord. Oh, look. Look at this. I used to have a mini one like this. I actually had a... Oh, this is, I think, though. Is it Bakelite? It feels like it. I used to have a proper Bakelite one. Yeah, it's quite a good one, that, really. Black. I always go black. Black 13. I always used to bet on 13, 7, yeah. 21. But yeah. That's, is that back? Shut up then. We're going to go for two. I'm going for number two. Red. This time. It's green, isn't it? Oh, no, it's moved. Last second. Red. Is it? One again. I don't know what you get for it. 36. Like. It depends what you put on it, you tit. I mean, How much have you put on it? 20 quid. So you put 20 quid on, and you, so you get 35 times 20. Is that what that is? What do you mean, is that what it is? Not what it means. 36 times No, 10. no. It means there's 36 numbers in there. Yeah. And so it's 1 to 36. Mm. So if you put 20 pound on, yeah. you get 35 times. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So you get... I just thought it was like even, odds and evens and things. Yeah. No, if you're going black and red, black it's, and red, yeah. it's fifty percent. But if you yeah. go on a single number, it's thirty-five. So I'd have got, I'd have got thirty quid back. If you put twenty pound on, you would have got forty pound back. And that's not fifty percent. No, it's fifty-fifty. So it's like evens. So you double oh. your money. That's oh. all. Backgammon, that in it. Yeah, never, never knew how to play backgammon. I used to play backgammon all the time, but I can't remember how to play it. Yeah, this underneath is pretty cool. To be fair. He must have been a serious gambler to have... Oh, that had some decent parties. Well, yeah. It's good, though, that. I reckon that will cost quite a bit of money, you know. And look, this is all for your chips here. These ridge bits here are to put your proper chips in. Please. Yeah. Fucking, that's a long chip. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, it took about a foot long. <laughs> foot long chip. Foot long chip and a foot long fish. <laughs> You're an idiot. I'm thinking of any film in that. Oh, yeah, I wonder. But, yeah, uh, oh. no, that's the front. Take it out. Is it the side? That bit there. That bit there. Yeah. That bit there. That's what I just done. Just, yeah, you just... do it, and then you have to pull the back at the same time. No, because that just released that. I'm sure it did. No, you pulled that bit up with your hand. I can't be bothered to do it, but that's what it is that opens it. But, yeah, that's pretty cool. I do like that. It's even got the little bit to move your chips about as well. And scrape them in. Oh, look. More backgammon. Is it... Who is it that plays backgammon now? I don't know. Is it, is it the French? Somebody plays backgammon more than other people. Greeks. It, well, maybe in this house. Nowhere else. Italians. I don't know. I thought it was... I thought it was... French, but I might be wrong. Oh, look. Oh, look, Chanel stuff as well. I'm jumping on every little thing I see, but to be fair, anyone can have Chanel boxes in their house. What are you looking at now? What's this? Oh, car stereo. Yeah. And then some telephone numbers. But, oh, look. Shit, loads of keys. Loads of keys. Surely there ain't that many locks in this house. That's what you'd find for, like, a hotel. You want that, yeah? Yeah. That's weird. It's still work. I don't know, I tried it. Yeah. Oh yeah, it does. Right. So I'm guessing this was like the games room slash entertaining room, something like that. I thought so. Yeah, that's what it seems like. I like it in it. I like that. I want that roulette thing. Because that fits, look, just move up again for a minute as well. Just pick up the backgammon, because I can't do it. 
Smooth that off. Yeah, smooth it. Have you just trapped your finger? Yep. <laughs> you know, that goes in there. I can't hold it and do it at the same time. You have to move whatever that book is. What is that book? The Great Ideas. Is a love. I don't know what that is. So what's this underneath? I don't, just before you move it. Oh, is this craps? Dunno. When it is dice, in it? Oh yeah, craps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then that just slots on on top there like that. This is really cool. I would love this. I don't know where the frigging hell it would go in my house, but it's really, really good. Yeah, like that. There you go. Yeah. Because it's it's a solid piece as well, isn't it? Yeah, and you put your wine bottles in back. Oh, can you? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it's it's really good. Really, really like it. I wonder. Oh yeah. Sports Sportcraft Sportcraft. I'm gonna have a look at how much they are. Not to get one, because. But it would be good that definitely. Wouldn't it? Right, come on then. Let's keep going. Right, we're making our way upstairs. And there's lots of documents and like we've just found some ID cards and stuff on the stairs, haven't we? Yeah. So, oh, look, Westcott, I recognise that. They're uh, debt collectors, aren't they? What is it? Debt collectors. <laughs> now, I can show you this address because that is not this address. So I'm okay to show it you, but look, Outstanding balance, £6,400. Um, what else is there on here? Have a look, because it looks like there's more underneath. I don't know if it's the same debt or a different debt. Oh, God. What is wrong with you? Why are you having a fight with the door? Because I can. I can it's not I can beat. <laughs> What's this one? Well, we've got again. Yeah, final notice. Client Lloyd's TSB, 6,400. So that's the same, same as the one underneath. Yeah, Lloyd, on behalf of Lloyd's TSB. Put them down, because there's some more. Line, uh, alone. Oh yeah, it could be. Oh, this is a different amount, look. Another one, Lloyd's, Lloyd's. TSB, 1,287 pounds. Seven and a half grand deals. Saying that um, they're coming to the door to take the stuff. 2012 that, 10 years ago. Right. Hey, that's different. That's from Louis Vuitton. Repair belt, fix the buckle. Now, what I read about this guy is he was very flashy and he hired expensive cars just to drive them round. Show off. Yeah, not like actually owned them, but just made it look like he owned them. Oh, is this a bank statement? Looks like it. Um, zip car, Tony and Guy, he's had his hair cut for 52 the... quid? So, have you never paid that much for your hair cutting? Well, I suppose you haven't really got any to cut, I but... pay that for some hair. <laughs> 52 quid? Oh, God, I just farted and we're in this little thing, and I had... Do not make it stink. <laughs> I had Sunday dinner last night, and not only did it have cabbage, it had sprouts as well. So I've had both. So if they do smell like cabbage and sprouts, you know. You're obsessed <laughs> with cabbage today, you know. <laughs> it's my fault. Well, that, that was moving on there. Right, let's have a look. Zip car, BT Open Zone, Betfair, Poker Stars. Um, let's have a look. Save the children. Well, at least you were nice. Tesco, Zip Car, Zip Cars, Costa. Turn it over. What's zip cars? Oh, yeah. Um, let's have a look. Da, 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 da. Zip car, look, zip cars, zip cars, zip cars. I wonder if it's the expensive cars. You oh, know, do you rent it out? Yeah. Or hired, should I say? Yeah, maybe it is. We have to Does, look at them. Damn Segway. That's the best damn Segway <laughs> in Netherlands. <laughs> best damn Segway. I wonder if it's a best, like, Western or something. I don't know. I'm not sure. Harrods. Card, card payment to Harrods. Four quid. Four quid? Yeah. You know what that'll be? That's a bag. En that's entry fee. No, I bet you any money he's bought a bag to make it look like he's, um, he's oh, shopping he's in Harrods. He's shopping in Harrods. I think he's right to the Yeah, exactly. What's on the other side? 
Zip cars, zip cars, God. What we got? Oh, 25 grand. It's from, received from Mr. Thanos. It's, oh, Thanasios Tar. Yeah, so that's his dad. So his dad sent him 25 grand to buy all, pay for all zip cars, probably. <laughs> that's bizarre. What else we got on here? Yeah, what's on this one? Another, oh, is this another one? Other side. Oh, Zipcar, Marketplace, Louis Vuitton, 155 pounds. That probably repair to that, his belt. That probably is, yeah. Um, I've just seen as well. Where are we at now? Harrods, 29 quid. Payment to Casino France, 27 pound. EasyJet, 140 quid. Um, Apple Tune. Oh, that's Luxembourg. Hotwire sales. What? Well, Hotwire sales? Casino France. Spag France. So he's been to Luxembourg and France by the looks of things there. Oh. What is this? The UK. Startup loans. Oh, so is it another? Um, five thousand three hundred. Outstanding five grand. five grand. We've had no contact to you from you and your account is now seriously in arrears. I'm telling you, that's why he's legged it. You All these money. things, yeah. So He's dodgy. You know on there, does it tell you what his outgoings and ingoings are for the... Oh, well, he's got money in. Oh, yeah. Just shot a 54 grand. Money out of a 54 grand. So he's he's gone over... He's, he's living, 500 quid. He's living outside his means, 100%, isn't he? Yeah. So, yeah, he might have be spending a lot of money and getting... Oh, sorry, he might be getting a lot of money in, but he's spending more money. Yeah. Oh. Shit loads of zip cars, zip cars on here as well. That's it, Again. like... Why, like, tw could you not live off 25 grand a month? You know, rather than, like, <laughs> spending 54 grand a month. Who knows? Surely you don't need all these zip cars, whatever poker it is. Poker stars, poker stars. Oh, yeah. Bet fair. He's, he's got a gambling problem, hasn't he? A gambling and a car problem. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, this is good. Oh, anyway. Average balance while in credit, 239 quid. No way. You know. <laughs> when you're getting that amount of money in and you can still only be that's worse. Your, your average balance is two hundred. That's worse quid. than my accounts. Do you know what I mean? That's worse than my banks. Like each month. And he's got this massive house. Just shows lots of people that look like they've got money. Ten bob millionaires. Yeah, that's it. They've got all this money like on paper, but actually no money in real life it's all no, tied no up physical into, money they've got yeah. a lot of assets yeah tied up in houses and stuff what's this solicitors Rescott credit services oh yeah One, 1200 quid yeah so he's absolute up to eyeballs in debt isn't he do you know they could have sold this and just we well, could because the thing is right you were living in two places about looks looks of things well you got a london pad yeah although that could be that's paul it's paul that's in debt yeah, why, are, Paul. why is Paul's stuff here, though? Because weren't this his dad's house? Although, I did read in that article that his son and daughter had been coming here, doing it up. But I don't know what they've been doing up. Doing a bad job. Yeah, they, I reckon they've been doing something dodgy, like burying bodies in garden under trap doors. Might go underneath here somewhere. You just never know, do you? Anyway. Oh, Jesus Christ! That's... That's something from bloody Adam's family. That scared me to death. Look at the arms on that, like the shoulders. I know someone that that would suit. It's too cold. <laughs> Go on. It's literally too cold. You know you are new. I know, but it's too cold. Just be quick. That's what they all say. <laughs> I'll leave you too. You just fart. No, it won't flow. I'm sure you'll No, it won't flow that far. Oh, look, look at it now, look. Yeah, just move the cobwebs off it. Look at it. I'll just use that as hair. It's just like having... Back hair. You would look great in that. You know you would. Go on. Look, it stretches. It's definitely going to fit you. It would fit you, that. <laughs> Shut up. It won't fit me. Definitely not. I'm going to have a look in here while you have a try of that on. This is a little weird room. Oh, it's where they do all their ironing and keep all the clothes by the looks of things. But when I read about it, it said that they found thousands and thousands of pounds of the clothes in this place. 
and slowly they've all disappeared. So all the stuff that's left, there's no point even looking at them. I can see from here that is no Louis Vuitton behind me or Gucci or whatever. It's all the general day-to-day -day tat. But just think what was in here to start with and how much money they seem to overspend on nothing that was really that important. I can hear, I can hear him <laughs> making noises around this corner and it doesn't sound like he's very comfortable. <laughs> Look, it actually shoots, yeah. Shut the fuck up, it's it fucking freezing. Look at that nipple. <laughs> Police come in now, fucking in trouble, aren't they? Oh, why isn't there a wig? There should be a wig. Oh, wait a minute. Stay there. Don't move. Where did I see it? Where did I see it? Got a lot. Like, like some right shab off bloody council estate. <laughs> it's like... It's like Mr Motivator meets Stri Strictly or something. What are you doing? I'm fucking free. I'm shaking here. I'm shaking like a shitting dog. Come on, big boy. You're like part of the the gayest SWAT team I've ever seen. <laughs> That's freaking me out, you are. What that what that nipple is just wanting to escape. What is wrong with it? <laughs> God, cover your modesty, man. Oh, I've got to get changed again. <laughs> right, we made our way up the corridor. You know what? This corridor's really thin. There's not very much room. What's that? Megasol vitamin B complex. Unique high pro potency formula. They liked his tablets, didn't they? There's loads of tablets knocking about. Look at that telly. Go and stand next to that telly. Does it stink? It's like it smells of yeast. I can smell it from here. It's in my throat. Oh, that's awful. How you could take them, I don't know. Yeah, go oh. and stand next to that telly. That telly that appears to be Japanese or something, because it's got... Aquos. Sharp. No, I'm look at the... No, look what at is? all the Japanese writing all over it. But yeah, look at the size of that. That's got to be a good, what, 65 inch at least. You think so? Yeah. Oh, you do it from car to car? Yeah, you do. Yeah. Yeah, about 65 inch, I'd say that. Yeah, a good five, five and a half, wouldn't it? Yeah, a lot of people have got size that size, but I reckon that's from a good 10, 15 years ago, and it weren't... <gasps> you scared the crap out of me. <laughs> That's mad. Oh, you look like one of the island boys. Yes, you'll, you will, sorry. you'll not know what an island boy is, but... Oh, look. I know what an island girl is. What are you on about? Who's an island girl? Oh, just a song. Oh. Yeah, look at this. Would you have got this directly from Wimbledon? Oh, and also, look. Little Prada card there as well. C certificate of authentication. Like that. Oh, and look, more chips. They're proper chips though, not like the ones downstairs. Like, don't get me wrong, they're not from a casino, but they're like proper. That's supposed to be five quid. We can use it. It depends what you're using it for. Is it? But yeah, it would be five I said quid. I've never played. We need to. We need to go to a casino, me and you. Do we think so? When we've got some money. Which yeah, is probably we're going to keep seeing that brothel afterwards. No! What is it with you wanting to go? You were, like this, you were like this in Morocco. No! Why would you want to go there? It's disgusting. You get a massage? You dirty old man. Not yeah, good. a sports massage from a man called Barry who's been doing it for the last 25 years. Oh, called Barry Bumboy? No! But look, this is... Do you reckon this one you would have got actually from Wimbledon? Because it's... It says Wimbledon 2006 on it. Yeah, probably. Was there more chips down there? Yeah, look, this is where he's, all his money's gone. Oh, look. Look at this. Three generation pedigree kennel club. It's got all the different names and things on. Wild Cherry. Arta Altabello. Doberman. Oh, it said that he had Doberman, didn't it? So you had something downstairs, that was thing, wasn't it? Yeah, no, but I, in the thing in the paper that I read, it said that he had... Oh, guard dogs. Guard dogs, and they were Doberman. Oh, so it, that same one? Uh, oh, Arta, no. yeah, Arta, Arta Bello. Alta Bello, sorry. 
Oh yeah, date of birth, 2011. So it's probably still alive that, isn't it? Tanja. Oh yeah, 2010. So they're related. They're like proper full thoroughbreds, aren't they? No, that's a, is it an horse when it's a thoroughbred? Yeah. What is pedigree. it when it's pedigree? That's it. Pedigree. <gasps> look, look, it's David, the Artabella. David the Dogman. Look at that. That's a scary motherfucker. That is. I love dogmans, me. I I don't, and I love dogs, and I I do love all dogs. But I would never have a Doberman. I would Why? never have... They scare me. And I wouldn't have one of them fat ones that are like Doberman either. Rottweilers. Rot Devil have, dogs. Yeah, I wouldn't have one of them. I wouldn't have a Rottweiler. I wouldn't have a Japanese Akita. I wouldn't have a Staff. You see, Staffies have got a bad reputation and they're not that bad, but... It all it's, depends how they're brought up. It's yeah, the owners. It's not the actual dog. Yeah. No dog is born evil. Oh, dear. That's going to stink. That is definitely going to stink. Yeah, I, when I was younger, I can remember watching Magnum P.I. with Tom Selleck. Big Tash, man. Yeah. Yeah. He, he had um, two Dobermans. Well, he lived in a house. A very big house. A very big house in the country. Right. And um, they had two Dobermans called Zeus and Apollo. Right. And I always wanted two Dobermans to call them Zeus and Apollo. Well, can't you get, like, miniature versions of them? What, like a schnauzer? No, I like schnauzers. No, it's miniature dogmans. Yeah, they're like little tiny things yeah, with pointy ears. Freaky things, no, I, li I quite like, I'd have one of them. No. They're all right. I would say, if you have a dog, have a big one, but I've only got a tiny dog. No, but it's, I know, we've seen your dog, and I've, you've seen my dog on Facebook. Everybody loves Bear, and everybody loves Lola. I remember, I remember. I know, well done. That's really good. She's nice, bless I don't even remember my daughter's, Boyfriend's name half the time, so I'll... Frank. No, he's called Jacob, I think. Anyway, anyway. we've got off, off subject a little, little bit. Pointies. What are they called? Um don't know. It's it's like the big ones are T Rexes and they're like them raptors. They're like, Velociraptor. They're like mini versions of them, aren't they? Yeah. Anyway, get through there. Oh uh, hello. <gasps> Wow! Well, you Look at this. So this isn't just a normal bag. This is like an ensuite. Look at the size of this. That's mad, isn't I, it? I'd never get out, mate. Not because it's be a bit deep and that overly <laughs> thin. It means I'd just be that comfortable. Well, yeah. Looking out that window. God, oh. Not even frosted windows either. No. Well, it wouldn't need to be on top floor though, would it? And that no, that's your back garden though. And there's nobody in your back garden. Why would he need it to be? Who knows? I don't know why I'm stuck like this. <laughs> don't put my leg up like that. You want to play with me? Oh, you tramp. But yeah, double sink. Hers. And a sh big shower. Well, it's not really big. It's a bit shit, though, isn't it? Yeah, but it's an ensuite. It's not like a big... Oh, and they've got a B-Day as well. B-Day. I would quite like a B-Day. Oh, Look. Look. They've got the look. look. They've got the independent shower on there that pulls out on a hose as well. And it's uh, got the jet washy things in it. <laughs> wow! Jet washy things. They are jet. What are they called then? If they're not jet washy things. It's a jacuzzi bath, isn't it? No, but oh lord, this bit here yeah. set, sets off the jet washers. Yeah. So it is a jet washy bath thing. It just bubbles it up, doesn't it? Oh well, yeah. Can do that with sitting back with you after you've had some sprouts and cabbage. <laughs> what are you doing? You know what? My bottom's bubbling from that cabbage. 100%. You just ranked. Right? Uh, what are you looking at now? Nothing. Nothing. Right. Keep going then. It's not some Greek urn. It's going to be shit. It's be shit, isn't it? Laptop in here. I don't think it's still in there though, is it really? It is. Is it? Yeah. It looked like you picked it up really easily. It's got some fucking muscular. <laughs> no, what, some cardboard? That's it. Look at you. Strength of Zeus. <laughs> With a body of Thanos. <laughs> what, fat? Thanos <laughs> is a right fat gay. Bless him. You've got the same bonds. Ooh. Oh, I'm not going to make you put this one on. Because I think it'd be 
too farty and hard. Is it? Is it Indian? Greek. Is it like a? It's not bloody Greek. It is. is it a sari no. type no, thing? It could be. No. Uh, oh, I just. It just looks like it's gonna kill you, doesn't it? Like the fact that they put half a chain fence around the neck as well. well. That's what they're doing it to make them look hard, and they're not. No, I think they are. Like them pointy ears. Do they have to cut their ears into that shape, or they naturally they used like to the that? They the root of clip them, didn't they? I don't like know. With um, Kane Corso's. The... What's a Kane Corso? Oh, this, they're fucking devil dogs. I'm not swearing. Literally, they are, frighten me. Are they the big muscular things with the pointy ears? Yeah. They look like out of Ghostbusters, then sort of things that come to life. Yeah. Kane yeah. Corso, the beautiful dogs, but they frighten me. Oh, I've it's never. Just the way they look at you. I've never heard of it. I've never seen one in real life either, so I don't know. One walked past me this morning. Really? Yeah. What? Uh, what? Surely not. I've never seen one in real life, and you saw one this morning. Yeah. Are you making a joke? No. I'm not to go. Really? She, yeah. Cause I always walked on to school with kids. Are, are they legal? Yeah. I don't think I'm on about the same dog that you're on about then. You must be on about. I don't know what you're on about. A dog that's not legal. Yeah. I'll have a look at a photo in a minute. Kane Corso, lovely dog. It's just like XL bullies, isn't it? They look mean. What's an XL bully? Oh, man. What are all these? I'm a terrier man. Just a simple Yorkshire Terrier. No, not Yorkshire, Yorkshire Terrier. Yorkshire Terrier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll tell you a story about Yorkshire. No, oh. better not, because I might upset a few people. Don't. Don't upset anybody. No, I'm not, I'm not. no you're not. I used, to be, I used to deliver milk. And one kept coming up. No, I don't want to know because I know where this is going and it's probably over a fence. So, knowing you. Yes, exactly. I'm not talking about this anymore. Let's find somewhere else to look at. Right, so we've just come out of that bedroom and at the other side from where the jacuzzi is, there's a changing room as well. And there's all sorts. That's Cuban cigars. Oh, they're for cigars as well, aren't they? These things. Those. Yeah. Like single... Cuban cigar holders, but there's a big box there. So they said a few in there as well. Ray Bans. And then I don't think they are Ray Bans, are they? No. no. Um but yeah, loads of clothes, and like I said, these will be the ones that people have left. They're all over the floor, so somebody's been rooting through them trying to find the best ones. Yeah, all the good stuff. Look at that jacket. It's nine stuff. That's suede, isn't it? It's like a that like cowboy, cowboy type thing. What's it say on the buttons? Turn the buttons over. Nothing. Oh. Not, even a, not even a... No, this is it. There's going to be loads and loads of stuff in here that's probably non-branded. Although I reckon there's somewhere in here there'll be something worth a, a few pennies that they just don't know the brand name. Yeah. They'll have gone for the Gucci's and the Versace's and things like that and missed it all together. But I'm certainly not going through it looking for stuff because obviously we don't take stuff away anyway, but but there will be, there'll be something. Right. Now there is a few other bedrooms that we've sort of missed off because they're a bit just tatty. Oh look, more of this stuff. You know, like this orange... Like, There's no asbestos in that. I don't know what it is. It's all over. But it was downstairs as well. I wonder if we're above the bit we were in when it were all over downstairs as well. Oh, damn. I don't know. It's not, it's not good in here though. It's cool in here, isn't it? I mean, cold, not not like rate good. What's in there? Something for you. Vagis. <laughs> you are a bucket. What, this one? What's that? I don't know what cell sun shampoo is. Medical treatment for dandruff. Really oh. good stuff as well, that. Well, how would you know? If you had dandruff, surely your head would just be peeling. Yeah, it would. Can I get back out of this toilet, please? Well, I ain't toilet. Well, I'm in the little toilet room. <laughs> bathroom, then. <laughs> well, no, because there's... Oh, there is a bath in here. I'm going to say there's no bath in here, but there is. But, yeah... Like I said, there's loads of little rooms and, and a couple of big ones, but there's not very much in them. Like, at least there is some clothes hanging up in here. And some... Oh, these hoodies are, are good, though. I like them. What you found? What you got? What? 
Can't show that because that's the address. Bank of Scotland. Oh, so that's for here? For here. Right. Mortgage account number tells you mortgage account number. Right, turn it round. As you have failed within 14 days of the due date to pay interest pursuant of the terms and conditions of the legal charge, the principal sum is now due and owing. We therefore require you to pay within 15 business days of the date of this letter the sum of £1,257,004.68p. They owe £1.2 million to the bank. <laughs> what the hell? I was like, oh, six grand. They've got six grand. Oh, another grand, another grand. 1.2 million. No wonder they fucked off. Fucking hell. I wonder who owns this place now, then. Bank. Must do. Yeah. They've, they've got to. They've got to be. But why aren't they just I'm like, auctioned that, it off or whatever? That's 2012 as well. Same as they were getting all the debt letters through as well. Because that's, is that 2012? 2011. No, the, it's 2012 Olympics, though, isn't it, that, at the bottom? Yeah, but it's a day to 13th day of September 2011. Oh, right. So, yeah, just before then. Yeah. So, the ad official sponsor, isn't it? But they were still getting letters in 2012. Yeah. So, they've just fucking... Wow. £1.2 million. Pounds. I've never seen a debt like that. Man. No, I haven't. And that, right, the thing is, imagine living your life like that. Knowing that I, I've had months where I've struggled, like, I've had, have, we? yeah, everybody does, and you have that feeling of like maybe running up to Christmas and you've got not as much money as you'd like, and you can't buy all the things you want to, or you're going on holiday and you know that you've not really got very much spending money and things like that. Yeah, to know that you've got six grand, one grand, one grand, three grand, and 1.2 million hanging over your head. I, I don't think I could cope. No I'm wonder he ran silent. away. He's probably living in Crete or something like that now, yeah. in a nice villa. He's took a load of stuff that's worth it, pawned it all in, and then gone Sold to live there. Off. And probably pretending he's, he's got loads of money yeah. over there as well. Probably wow. has. And that's why there's been reports of his kids coming back, because I reckon there's things buried under the ground. I don't mean bodies this time. <coughs> I mean, like, hidden. Valuable stuff. Yeah, exactly. The, They've been the, com the coming hidden back. from... Receivers and yeah. debt collectors and anything that's worth it, they're going to do an inventory, aren't they? Yeah, exactly. And it off. Because the newspapers, I think it was the Mirror, had said when the reporter had been interviewing people, there was a strange guy with a Greek accent that was hanging around the village. That's what the, lo the landlord at the local pub said, didn't he? Yeah, and they wouldn't talk to people properly. Or, yeah. And like, he were very funny. So I reckon, yeah, I reckon the kids were looking. For the little bits left over and stuff. That's mad. So if you fail to comply with the terms of this demand, the bank reserves the right to exercise its power of sale or, and or institute proceedings for possession of the mortgage property without further notice. Bloody hell. So re it, aren't they? Yeah. Looking that way. Mad. Anyway. Woohoo! I've never known, I've never seen anything like that before in my oh life. Boy. But we did, we served, we solved the mystery anyway, didn't we? We did. Like in the papers, they're like, oh, nobody understands why they legged it. But it's quite obvious. Definitely obvious, it's got too much debt. Yeah, exactly. Why did it say biohazard? Oh. There. And what's the, oh, look. Grosvenor. Terrorism insurance. <laughs> That's what he says on it. Buildings insurance. Is seven hundred and four thousand. This is that Grosvenor Estate, Estate Belgravia, London. Isn't it? Thirty-two. Is that Cliveden Place? Is oh, their yeah. other address? Their other address is in Belgravia, which is mega money, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, this has got terrorism insurance in twenty ten. Um. So the insurance is balance due one thousand one hundred twenty four quid. Then owes more money. Yeah. Right. Because it's near Sloan Square, that. I know it is. I've seen it on maps. Uh, what's this? Take notice that possession hearing has been restored for Monday the 31st of October at West London County Court, Magistrates and Youth Courts, Talgarth Road. So it's looking like... No, claimant, Grosvenor Estate, Belgravia. Rob, defendant, Rob Jan Everts. 
I don't understand what this is. I feel like that's nothing to do with this man. Who knows? God knows. Outstanding penalty notice. Oh, oh unpowered, that's that parking, parking ticket, ticket downstairs. 150 quid. Oh. Alfa Romeo in green. Oh, yeah, but that'll be in one of them cars that you were driving round in, won't it? Oh, yeah. Won't even be his, probably. G899 EBW. Right, talk about debt. Like, left, right and centre, it's just coming out of the pores. I don't even want to... Look, there's more here. Grosvenor Estate. Um, in the West London County Courts, that's another one. I think it might be the same, to be fair. But yeah, that's mad. And it's all to that address, 32 Cliveden Place, even though it's got a different person's name on it. It's worth the right, that place. Well, it reckoned the valuation was 700,000. Back that, in what? 2010, though. So you'd think... Double that now, can't you? Probably, least. yeah. Mad. Anyway, I think... We're about done. When I first walked in this place, I knew we'd got the story, like things to look for for the story, but I didn't expect to find what we found. I just thought that we'd maybe try and fail. Stop picking knickers up and stuff and bras and you freaky man. Stop it. One day somebody will send me some pants through post. No. Right, they sent the shit through the post. And what about shit? Don't be asking for dirty... Right, Tracy will send a truckload of dirty <laughs> knickers to you and she'll do it happily. In fact, she'll let you live in them while she's still in them. So, <laughs> stop it. Tracy. Stop. Tracy. You can't do that. That's one of our subscribers, you absolute badden. Hey, what's that under there? You a filly like... Yeah, but it's in Greek, isn't it? Oh, it's a... Ooh. Ta. I don't know what that is. Is it a calendar? It's stuck to the... Yeah. <laughs> it's, stu it's stuck. Oh, that's disgusting. It's stuck. Don't pull it up, then, because it's all going to break, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's go. Right. So, as you can see, this is not the same day. <laughs> I don't, don't know what happened to the outro. We sort of forgot to do one. But last time we didn't do one, we got in trouble. Didn't we, we? Did. So, we thought we'd better do one, really. So, it, it was good, that place. Was it? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, beginning of this week. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, it was yeah, it, it good. But I think it would have been amazing two years ago. But I think it's just gone downhill yeah. massively. But still, what a waste. And what what a waste of all that money that he's left behind as well and all those it's things. It's mad. Really, really. I can is. understand why he's legged it, though. Oh, yeah, with that debt. 1.2 million, were it? 1.2 mil. That's crazy. So, yeah, anyway, two things. Multiple things. Oh, God, I'm a proper cabbage. I cannot think for the life of me. What I'm supposed to be saying because it's such a long time ago. First thing, there's a video coming up in January where you can get your name on a T-shirt that's going to be used. It's an epic journey that's just included and just involving me. So if you want your name on it, all you need to do is send any donation over like two quid to paypal.me slash findersbeepers and get your name on the T-shirt and you will be seen. Um, what else? There was something else. Oh, happy birthday, Rachel. It's Rachel's birthday today. Yes, happy uh, birthday. Uh, although it'll be the day after her birthday when it comes out because it's Saturday today. Um, what else? What else were I supposed to be telling them? I don't know. I'm just as much of a vegetable as you. <laughs> you are I've a cabbage. Sl I've slept. You're, you're picking up the cabbage disease from me. Um, oh, God, there's more cabbages in, a bloody, in this car than in a cabbage field. <laughs> What's the cabbages? I have to tell you, there's a, I've got a little thing to tell you about cabbages. So yeah, the, the round green things. <laughs> I've been doing TikTok lives all week, uh, like Mon I do them on Monday, Wednesday, Friday now. Uh, TikTok lives. So if you want to pop on, come over. But they all dared me to get the word cabbage into this video at least ten times, and that's why I've just randomly been saying cabbage. So. Oh, what you're about with cabbage? <laughs> what you're about being cabbage? So um, Jason Brennan, do you remember Jason that came with his son to yes. the meet up? The little he said if, up, up front. Yeah, yeah, if I got cabbage into this. 10 times he would have a tattoo of a cabbage on his forehead <laughs> no he'd send us a tenner which he's done oh. so he's, he's trusted me that we've done it well so. done jason and i've literally said cabbage about 10 times in the last five minutes anyway so yeah. cabbage cabbage but yeah i like doing little things like this um like extra little bits and talking about extra little bits we've got a christmas special coming up soon and 
it's we're going out for Christmas dinner, me and Andy, and uh, we're going to have a, a special day. Andy knows nothing about. I've got, the I ain't got a clue. You've got no idea. What's All this going is on. a bit wrapped up. Which yeah. I always do anyway. Yeah, because we're going to be outside. Look at the weather outside at the moment. It's absolutely freezing. Uh, we're going to be going down south, and it's going to be very, 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 very cold. So I just needed to. As long be... as I get fed. Oh, you'll get fed. You'll get. You'll get fed. Seriously fed. It's not cock. Don't worry. <laughs> not going then. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's not like a pig in blanket. It's going to be a fucking cow in a duvet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god right we're going we will yeah. see you soon and you have a lovely weekend bye bye, bye, -bye.